Good morning from the breakfast table. From the breakfast table. I have I eat at the breakfast table now. Or just at the general table. Good morning, it's Monday and this is Bad Puss. Mm -mm -mm. That was Shizuma that you just saw um kind of walking around. I love my tablets. I've got three of them. And yeah, so it's Monday, the first proper Monday that I'm going to Monday in this house. So, yesterday, brought all my stock and everything over, um, well, the rest of it, because I'd already brought over my clothing stock the other day, and I did, um, I even did a stock take on it for that. I did a stock take and found that um, I think it was about 11 items of clothing had somehow magically disappeared off my eBay. It's very strange. Like, it definitely happens because these are things that I would have no reason to have, like, deleted or there was nothing where they'd been bought and then the buyer cancelled them or anything like that. They were definitely listed and then they disappeared. Bizarre. I'm not relisting all of them um, uh, because I can't be bothered. <laughs> they must have dropped off so long ago. But some of them are worth me redoing the listings for because there's like a vintage dress and a vintage top that I think will sell that I'm surprised they haven't. Like the dress is lovely. Anyways. Oh, here comes a mother. Good morning, mother. Good morning. So it's the first Monday that I'm proper Mondaying in this house. Oh, so I'm going to do my regular Monday. Oh. Regular Monday where I'm going to do my post because I've got all of my stock over here. And because the parcel shop is two doors down and the uh, post box is over the road. So that's right handy and also they pick up from the post box at 4 p.m rather than 9 a.m which is much better isn't it because it still goes to the same to the same depot yes oh yeah i think there might be two pickups but i mean like the latest one is four o'clock yes. whereas there wasn't a late one from no. from the other one so that's right good isn't it Shizuma? Shizuma is uh, loving the house and she's being even more cheeky. She was on top of the door the other day and, and was a crash in the of there was a crash in the night where she decided to jump up on the, the china cabinet. Luckily there was no china in it, but there was like a bowl on the side, a glass bowl, but she didn't smash it, she just knocked it over. But she's being a bit of a bugger. Um, as we explored a little bit of the back garden yesterday, she chewed a bit of grass, went, it doesn't taste the same, and then came back in. And, um, yeah, what other things have we done since last week? Bought new beds again. <laughs> so, um, mum's bought a new bed, which is coming on Wednesday. Your bed's sleeping on the floor now. Yeah. Um, she doesn't have to sleep on the floor, she chose to. Um, and then I bought another new mattress. So we went down to Dreams the other day. And I, like, my mattress is good, so Mum's having my mattress. Because she's like, oh, this is lovely. I'm like, it's too soft. It's like, it's a medium firm mattress and it's still too soft for me. I'm like, I, I don't, I don't like it. So I went into Dreams and yeah, Mum bought a bed frame. And um, I tried out the extra firm mattress and I was like, oh, this is bliss. So I bought it. Yep. Oh, and as you can see, just about behind me, just there, just where she's mirrors now. I bought a new telly as well. Three pounds, not three pounds, 319 pounds off of Amazon. And it's like a 50 inch Samsung smart telly and stuff. Which obviously doesn't do anything just yet because we don't have internet until tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow. Because it's been turned off at Tother House today. 
and coming on tomorrow. So I've got to go back to their house to do some stuff. And uh, yeah. Anyways, I'm gonna carry on having my coffee and I will be back soon to show you what I was working on most of yesterday, which is my eBay room, my eBay room, my eBay room, which I absolutely, it's brilliant. I love it. Anyways, back with you soon. Okay, well, here we have it. Here is the eBay room. Do you remember her? She's been in my garage for a long time, bless her. We've had to take this hand off because it was black from all of the mildew and stuff. Going to see what we can do about cleaning her up. But bless her, this is Liberty Bell. She's flaking a little bit, poor thing. She's from 1960s, Saks Fifth Avenue. Somewhere on the back there it says, like, Saks Fifth Avenue. But yeah, she's come all the way from uh, from America. And I rescued her from a pub in Neath because they were being absolutely horrible to her and they drew cocks on her face and stuff. Anyway, she's been in my garage for ages, but now she's going to warm up in here. And it is blooming warm, honestly. The, the radiators in this house have only been on for about half an hour and it is boiling and it stays warm all day, which is great. Anyways, in these cupboards, which are not particularly well made, but they will do the job for now. And they are being held kind of shut by a pair of scissors because I have packed them. But basically, I, I, yeah, Liberty, no, she doesn't want to move. Anyways, in there is all of my bric-a-brac stock. Um, some of it in, see, like tubs, but I need to get more of those tubs because they fit quite nicely in and I think they were from Poundland. So I want to do that. Um, this is my photography, stroke sorting, stroke packing area. So as you can see, I've got my overhead thing there. I'm going to buy a natural light bulb for this. So like can shine on there and stuff. Um, stationery and all of the pens I will ever need ever. You know, printer plugged in there, got photography stuff in there. And then like packaging and things in there and stuff. Mannequin, which obviously I move into the center there, pull the table out. I am looking at maybe moving that over there <coughs> and getting like a desk on wheels um, and have that as packaging area, but over there or something. We'll see, we'll see. Um, This is all stuff yet to sort out. So these are some of the things that were eBay auctions that fell off. Um, that's a shredder. There's piles of books and stuff off my cupboards, which I still haven't found homes for yet. Those more books as well. So I need these ones, like we're going to attach them to the wall. Um, we haven't managed to do that yet because these are stone, stone walls and they just don't want to go in. So we're just going to put like a bit of wood there and then drill like into that, like and into this bit. The bit of wood will be like, because obviously there's a big gap and we want it to just come in a little bit. So yeah, and then my CDs and DVDs and some of my books will go on there. I've got my, um, see all my jewellery books and stuff down here. I've combined all of my notebooks and stuff and these are all blank notebooks. So I don't need any more notebooks, that's for sure. Um, yep, just various bits, job lots that are on the go and stuff. This is all of my jewellery stock which is fab. And then in there, typically behind all of my packaging stuff, um, is all the clothing and things. And yeah, typically the thing that I want from today is gonna be in that box down there. <sighs> oh well, and yeah, other printer up there and uh, yeah. Oh, and um, these are my, my certificates that I finally framed because there were some frames the other day. So, yeah, first class honours. Yeah. Um, yeah, okay. So, oh, and the ladders won't be staying. These are my sister's ladders. But I'm going to be having some, like, small ladders because, obviously, I've got tall shelves. But we've got smaller ladders at the other house, lightweight aluminium ones, which I'm just going to um, put on the wall with um, 
contact strips, command strips, that's what they're called. Right, I'm gonna get together my orders and show you what's coming out. Okay, so here are my sales from just yesterday because I did um, Saturday's post on Saturday. So we've got a floral plastic pink bangle, went for $9.99. This retro tie, like a uh, gold stripe tie, it has been um, on my eBay for like quite a while. And then because I did the stock take on it, it had a new box number. So I put like box number seven on it and then later on it sold so i just did like a little adjustment which obviously just bumped it up in the algorithm for whatever reason so there we go that's pretty cool a vintage jewelry lot went for 25 pounds this oval little locket pendant necklace uh 5.99 this Cherry red glass faceted pen, um, beaded necklace. Just got to make sure it's the right one, but I've got no internet connection um, in this room as yet. Internet comes tomorrow. So I have to go to a place in the house that has internet. <laughs> Double check. Um, and yeah, just make sure it's the right one, but I think it is the right one. These are a bunch of hand mirrors that my mum didn't want anymore. Uh, they were an auction, $24.99. I've already given her the cash for them as well so she's happy best sale of the weekend and hello by the way um is this cherry amber beaded necklace i have got uh so this went for 129.99 because it's not all cherry amber there's like um metal in there as well so it's like held together let's see like with brass bits it um i've got another one that started last night and i started that one at 400 pounds because it is longer it's graduated um and it's like been recently uh restrung and hand knotted but this is lovely so with cherry amber if you warm it up it smells really nice and sweet like a natural it should have natural inclusions like if you hold it up to the light you should be able to see like um little inclusions and wisps and swirls and things so look out because you might just think it's plastic, but it's not. It's not. So there. Um, a little white leaf plastic collar length necklace went for eight pounds, and then another one of these pendant um lockets went for five ninety nine. And I've got to package these up, and then, like I said, I don't have internet connection in this room, so I've got to go upstairs where um I can tether because I can get internet up there download my labels, come back down, plug into printer, print them out. So a little bit of a palaver until my internet is in. Also, what I don't like is um, that my table is a little bit too low and I can't quite get underneath it to sit. So I might look at either putting casters on this table, which would obviously help raise it up a little bit, or getting another chair, but then that would be mean I would be lower down. And... Um, We'll see anyway. We shall see. Maybe this chair can go upstairs in the dressing room, perhaps. Might try that and get another little chair for in here. Anyways, train of thought, isn't it? We shall see. I'll be back with you once I've done my post. It's still early. It's still only 20 past eight. And I've straightened my hair, gotten dressed and had, haven't had breakfast yet. I might have some breakfast in a bit. Anyways. Catch you in a bit because then we're going to go out and I'm making a little list of stuff. <laughs> Post is finally done. I had to wrestle with my printer for a bit because I just kept printing off code and then I uh, tried all resetting and things and mm, ended up taking it upstairs and Googling whilst trying to do it, uninstalling, reinstalling, uninstalling, trying this driver, la la la. Like, God, why does it have to be so complicated? Turn on print. Hmm. Anyways, I'm going to go and um, pop the letters in the box and take the parcels to the um, shop a couple of doors down. And, um, yeah, see if they've got anything interesting in there. 
There you go. So this is this is the new Texaco garage. This is a spa instead. There's more stuff. Gonna check out what's in the reduced section. We've got ham, peppers, eggs. Sorry, they keep looking at me weird because I'm filming, so which is fair enough. But yeah, there's a lot more than in the Texaco garage, that's for sure. So that's pretty cool. I don't need any pens. Anyway, back home. I'm gonna sit and have some breakfast now, now that my post is done and everything. So I'm having some ooh, Kitohana granola with some Greek yogurt and a couple of strawberries. I'll do. Walked into town by Wilco's now, and then this little jewelry shop here. Um, they're just giving away like their mugs, um, like from there. They're obviously having a clear out of like their upstairs office and stuff. So I just picked up two mugs. I'll show you them later. Um, uh, one of them is Duchess Fine Bone China February mug, and um, that might be like something my sister buys i don't know but it was free anyway so there we are right i am going to head now do i want to go wilco's first or poundland i think maybe i'll go wilco's first yeah it's a good plan <laughs>
is my um, my new bus, the 303. Isn't it exciting? Stops right outside the house. Very handy. Yay. Um, town was not very successful for getting the things that I wanted on my list. So no caddies for the bathroom. No little foam pads. Can't remember what else was on my list. Yeah, sticky rubber pads no one had. No bathroom caddy. Um, the only tubs that they had that fit in my thing, they had two left and they were both broken in Poundland. So that's great. But I did get um, a daylight light bulb for my light in there for my overhead light. But I should probably get one for my big light as well. But that'll do for now, that one. Freebies I got. So this one I'll give to my sister. I don't know if she'll be able to sell it, but you never know. But it's a Duchess February mug. That was free. And there's another free mug. And I got this one because it is Lucy Atwell memories of yesterday so it's here we go is it lucy mabel atwell maybe mabel lucy lucy mabel atwell so a vintage mug from 1991 so i'm guessing the designs are quite a bit older than that so they were free anyway obviously i went in some charity shops but i didn't film that today um Two pounds on this orchid, orchid brooch, orchid or lily, orchid. It's an orchid. It's an, an orchid. It's an orchid, isn't it? Yes. That's an orchid. Spent two pound on that. A pound on this necklace by Worthington, which apparently is J C Penny in America. There you go. Um, some silver earrings. The backs are a little bit bent, but they're quite nice. I think they were a pound. Or at least she charged me like three pounds for three pairs, so I'm guessing they were a pound each. Because it's these ones as well. And these little nipple ones. Oh, how rude. Little nips. I think they signed. I'm sure I saw something. Maybe I dreamt it. I'll have a look later. And then this they had for 99 pence, and I'm pretty sure it's silver. It looks it anyway. Yeah, I can think I can see 95 on the clasp. So, silver and gold plate. I thought that was quite pretty. That's pretty. Yeah, I mean 99p. So, that's cool. Yep, that's everything. Oh, sorry, and this, this blazer, which, um, or dinner jacket, which has got someone's dinner down the front of it. But it's velvet, it's 100% cotton and it's velvet and it's a one buttoner and, um, I just thought it was quite nice. It's by Boss, but not Hugo Boss. It's Boss of like Finland. I don't think it's a particularly fantastic make, but I just liked that it's a dinner jacket, a velvet dinner jacket. Anyways, yes, I'm gonna have some lunch now. And this is my lunch today. I've got some pate, some uh, cream cheese, and a load of seedy crackers. And then also these cheese and pickled onion flavoured cheesos, which are really freaking delicious. Mm. I'm definitely going to order some of them. They're so good. Hey, so I'm leaving the house again. Um, got my stuff and I'm going swimming. I haven't been for ages. Um, I want it to be a relaxing one today, I think. So just a, a bit of a soak and a float <laughs> maybe a few lengths anyways it is pretty much now just like 
a straight walk like or walk in a straight line to the hotel I could get the bus that's outside my house um, but no, I'm gonna walk <laughs> and then I'm gonna go back to the old house so about someone picking up a little Ikea chest of drawers thing and we've got some other little bits to do there still it's like never ending but there we are it's got to end at some point isn't it but yeah right anyways to the pool pool to myself I've missed this place catching a bit swim done hair dried and um, I'm up a backler gonna do the couple of charity shops here and then head off back to other house There's still a lot of, well, all of the garden to take, all of it, but that's um, my mum and my sister during the week are doing that, just taking down the swing chair so that nobody steals it. The house is um, getting emptier and emptier. I've hired a skip for the weekend. This stuff is crafts. Of, mum's having an ice cream. Yum. Um, yep. Empty and all of upstairs is empty. This is on Facebook, but no one wants it. No one wants the unit either. Ha <laughs> ha. And then someone's coming to pick this up. And yeah, done. Hello, it's me and it's the next day. Yes, this is Tuesday. I'm just coming back on because I didn't actually finish Monday's vlog because I ran out of battery and then made curry and had a bath and went to bed and that was about it. But I've come back today to say goodbye, which sounds a bit weird. And also, I finally got internet so I can actually edit this together and upload it. Hooray! It's so nice having internet. I've got my telly working. Yay! And it uh, means that tomorrow I can actually go into my office and do some listing. Finally. Hooray! Hmm. But also got mattress coming tomorrow. My new mattress. I can't wait. Um, yeah, and then later on in the week, might do something, I don't know. Let's get on a bus and go somewhere. We haven't done that for a while. Sorry, got hiccups. Anyways, I shall see you again soon. Bye-bye now, bye-bye.